are back with another video and I have Roxy here to help me and today we are going to talk about teeth cleaning and what we use on the dog's teeth and how we do it. So I've got Roxy here to help me just because her teeth are a wee bit worse than what Pixies are. Her teeth are all over the place in her mouth. She has huge teeth. She has teeth that are different shaped. You might be able to see at the front there um, if she stays still. They do tend to come out a wee bit more and they are in front of each other and behind each other. So they are overlapping and because of this food gets stuck in Because of this, food gets stuck in between the teeth and, you know, we do need to brush a wee bit more. Now, her teeth are slightly stained brown, particularly in the back, and it's just a build up of a um, plaque. I am brushing their teeth a lot more than what I used to as um, puppies. When she was a puppy she had to get eight teeth removed, eight puppy teeth that were retaining after um, getting neutered. So her mouth, even the vet said her mouth was a mess. She had her adult teeth growing under and out a puppy tooth, um, which was the adult tooth was coming out squint because of that because it had nowhere to go and it could have caused major problems later on down the line when she was older however that tooth thankfully has now straightened back up but Roxy's teeth in particular are probably the worst um, out of the two of them just with the way that they are sitting in line at the moment so tooth, teeth brushing I tend to do every couple of days, um, probably two, three times in a week, um, and we also use a kind of a foam on their, their mouth as well, which also um, helps prevent the build up of plaque. And Roxy's mouth as well, I don't know what it is, but her breath is stinking. Now, I don't know why, um, but it's a very foul smell, um, even with brushing and the mouth foam. The foam really helps the smell for a couple of hours at least, and then it comes back to that horrible, nasty smell. And I don't know what it is, um, Pixie's breath certainly does not smell like that. Um, something that I probably need to get checked out at the vet um, the next time she goes um, but for just now for maintaining that we use um, the toothpaste and the um, fresh breath so these are their toothbrushes now this one is Pixies because this is the one that we got with the vet um, when we got the toothpaste the toothpaste is vet um, prescribed um, and we tend to use the small head because the big head is quite big and they do have small delicate mouths so going in with that if I'd be woken if I had a small mouth and I had that and I'd be gagging so um, we use the small head um, and again this one is Roxy's it's just a different um, brand be Bafer or however you pronounce it anyway but that's it anyway and again we just use a small head on that so they are really good toothbrushes um, I don't use water um, when I brush their teeth just gets put on the toothpaste just gets put on the brush straight in their mouth quick brush and then out and that's it the toothpaste we got actually runs out December this year um, is a Vireback Animal Health um, Enzymatic Toothpaste so the vet always said as soon as the toothpaste hits the mouth it starts to work um, and it helps start to fight off the plaque um, you know, and it's poultry flavour for dogs and cats um, which is why they go a bit crazy when the toothpaste comes out. No rinsing required um, 
and it's formulated for um, dogs. Um, don't really know much of the ingredients that's in it to be honest, um, but it's very recommended so we use it anyway. Um, so Roxy's alright at getting her teeth brushed, I mean she's not really the best but we just use a small amount and it's just a quick, it's not a big job, it's just a quick two second um, job so let me just get rid of that here. As you can see she's going nuts already. So just a size about that really. Um, and what I tend to do is I tend to hold the chin. Now this may look um, a bit rough, but you need to hold the dog's mouth in order to brush their teeth. So you just hold, I'm not holding the chin itself, I'm just holding the hair. So just so that you can get the, the dog's head to stay still. And I just go in, you might not see this, but um, I just go in with the toothbrush, up the top, swivel it round if I can, down the bottom, and I can hear it. I can hear it scrubbing when the toothbrush is hitting the tooth, so I know I'm cleaning the right, the right area. And the same again with the other side. And I'm sorry if she's facing away, it's just because she has a bit of a nightmare. Getting this done. Come on, good girl, good girl. And then the bottom. There we go. And then the last thing we do is the bottom and the top at the front because the bottom is the kind of worst as well as the back. Good girl. Trying to bypass the tongue sticking out uh, at the same time is a bit of a nightmare. Come on, good girl. That's enough. Come on. She's probably not going to tolerate this. Come on. Good girl, you go, you So just a wee quick. Two seconds at the bottom and a two seconds at the top. It's not pleasant. There we go. That'll do. But anyway, you kind of get the, the idea. So because the toothpaste has touched the tooth, it's now activated and um, it starts to fight off the plaque. Um, although their teeth are still staying brown, um, but it's going to just be an ongoing process with that. Um, so literally five minutes and that's all it is brushing them. Now that did look really rough because I was holding their moustache but it's honestly the only way you can get your dog's teeth brushed without them having to bite you off. Um, I probably could just uh, stick it in and brush them like that but you're not actually getting to see where you're putting the, the brush. And then we just rinse that off with warm water um, when we're finished um, and that cleans the brush. And then the Fresh Breath Foam is made by Tropiclean. Now I was aiming for something that would get rid of the smell from Roxy's Breath because it does really stink. And this is an instant foam um, with Fresh Breath without brushing, easy foam application. Um, and it does have mint in it. So when I first smelt this in the store, it smells like mouthwash, but obviously it's safe for dogs. It's for dogs and cats, so they don't like this getting done either. So all we do is just lift up their top lip and we squish it in their mouth. Sometimes the foam comes out, touches their moustache, and it looks like they're foaming at the mouth but it helps with Roxy's breath and I more or less need to do this every couple of days really um, just because when she is in about your face it does stink and it's not pleasant at all so you ready? 
So just lifting up the top lip, I'm just going to do this quickly because she doesn't like it. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Yes. Because she's got nice smell and bright. Usually when you give me a kiss your breath is honking. Mm -hmm. So again using that every couple of days along with after teeth cleaning. Um, now obviously she came back from the field the other day after having her face in a cow pat. And this was the first thing I more or less reached for and the toothbrush because I thought you ain't coming near me with a breath like that after you having your face in a cow pat, dirty. So um, it is really good. I would find that I would probably get this again when it runs out just because it, it does really freshen up the dog's breath. However, it's not for that long a time. Um, but. I suppose it does help keep the mouth um, fresh and clean as well. Um, regular use of fresh mint foam helps keep teeth clean. Its gentle formula helps freshen breath for best results to use daily. So you can use it daily, although I don't use it daily. Um, I use it maybe every couple of days when I'm just brushing their teeth. Um, but that came in at about eight, seven or eight pounds, I think it was, in pets at home. But you can get it online anyway. Um, very good product, um, and I would get that again. And she's now in a huff because of being in about her mouth. But needs to be done, otherwise your teeth will fall out and you'll just be gumsy. Okay, so that is us for this video. Any questions or anything, leave us a comment down below. Any suggestions, leave us a comment. Like, subscribe, and we will see you guys later. Bye!